Hi viewers, welcome back. We have started a new series on aircraft maintenance engineering. So in this lecture, we will be discussing about module three on electrical fundamentals, sub module three on electrical terminology. We will be uploading videos in each and every topic. So if uh, you have not subscribed our channel, then please subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you never miss any updates from our channel. The electric battery. In electricity, a battery is a device consists of one or more electrochemical cell that convert stored chemical energy into electrical energy. A common dry cell battery is a zinc carbon battery. The cell is made up of outer zinc container which act as the anode. The cathode is a central carbon rod surrounded by a mixture of carbon. The electrolyte is a solution of sulfuric acid. A battery transforms chemical energy into electrical energy. Chemical reactions within the cell creates a potential difference between the terminals by slowly dissolving them. This potential difference can be maintained even if a current is kept flowing until one or the other terminal is completely dissolved into the electrolyte. Several cells connected together make a battery. Although now we refer to a single cell as a battery as well. An electric circuit is a closed path through which electric current flows. A simple electric current circuit contains a source battery, a switch, a load and a conductor. The functions of these parts are Cell, it is used as a source to supply electric current. Load, it is a resistor, basically a light bulb, which close when the circuit is turned on. Conductor, is copper wires are used as conductor with no insulation. One end of the wire carries current from the power source to the load and the other end from the power source. Switch, it is a part of the circuit that controls the supply of current in the circuit. It is used to open or close the circuit. Electric current and voltage are the two basic features of any electric circuit. Electric circuit analysis is a process in which current and voltage are determined in any element of the electric circuit. An applied electromotive force causes directional flow in an electric circuit. Using conventional flow, the charge carries are considered to be positive. That is, they leave the positive terminal of a supply and return to the negative terminal. The flow of electron is termed as electron current. Electrons flow from the negative terminal to the positive. Electron flow is considered opposite of the conventional current direction. Now, as we have some understanding of electrical circuit, so now we will start our discussion on electrical terminologies. Voltage. It is also known as electric potential difference or electromotive force or electric pressure or electric tension. It is defined as the electric potential difference per unit charge between two points in an electric field. Voltage is expressed mathematically using a symbol V or E. And it is equivalent of mechanical potential. In a static electric field, the work required to move per unit of charge between two points is known as voltage. And mathematically, the voltage can be expressed as Voltage is equals to work done, which is represented by W, divided by charge, which is represented by capital Q. So, voltage is equals to Zool divided by Coulomb. This is the SI unit for voltage. 
Electric current is the rate of flow of charge through a conductor. It is given by delta Q divided by delta T, which is charge divided by time. The SI unit of current is the ampere, which is capital A. One ampere is equals to one coulomb of current charge flowing in one second. Resistance. When the potential difference is applied to a conductor, the current starts flowing. While moving, the free electrons collide with the atoms and molecules of the conductor. Due to collision, the rate of flow of electrons is restricted. Hence, we can say that there is some opposition to the flow of electrons. Thus, this opposition offered by a substance to the flow of electric current is called a resistance. So, resistance is a measure of opposition to the current flow in an electric circuit. A resistance is measured in ohms. Symbol is omega. One ohm of resistance is equals to a current of one ampere flows when a potential difference of one volt is applied to it. The resistance of a conducting material is found to be directly proportional to the length of the material, inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area of the material, depends on the nature of the material, and it also depends on the temperature. Mathematically, resistance is given as rho multiplied by length of the conductor divided by cross-sectional area of the conductor. Conductance. It is also known as electrical conductance and is defined as the potential for a substance to conduct electricity. Conduct conductance is the measure of how easily flow of charge can pass through a material. It is inverse of electrical resistance and represented as capital G is equals to 1 divided by capital R. The unit of conductance is Simons. If you have found this video interesting, then please like the video, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe it. Thank you. Thanks for watching.